Hi, so I'm just filming it like this because I wanted to make a different type of video for this week initially, but then I realised about something that is a little bit more um, important and that I can also commit to my um, weekly schedule. So this, what you're seeing here, is my Nintendo 3DS. After having received it as a gift, it was a lot of fun to play uh, Super Mario 3D Land on it, the built-in game, as well as some of the cartridges that I always took with me um, after I got some extra at the flea market, one of them also was a gift. That was, of course, until one train trip when something very weird happened to the analog stick. So here is where the analog stick or the circle pad should be. However, the rubber top has popped off. As you could have seen in a short that I made in that week in which it happened. Um, as well as that, I've got a couple of these plastic uh, parts that broke off. So the plastic was a bit brittle. And when plastic gets brittle, it either bends, snaps, or breaks. In this case, it ended up doing all three. And uh, the result was a analog stick that doesn't work in all directions, and of course, isn't really comfortable to use. So I'm gonna go through a process to give this good old console a new lease on life by replacing its analog stick and potentially I'm going to do some homebrew stuff along the way as well but first priority is to get that stupid <coughs> circle pad back on and these are the two packages I got in the mail uh, today which are going to allow me to do this the first, let's unbox the smaller one first Um, contains this little reway card. I bought this at a Dutch reway and uh, here is a greyish replacement circle pad. Uh, this is only the actual pad that you interact with. The circle pad always has two parts. There's the sensor which is what's below this, and then there's this, which is the actual stick. Um, anyway, package two. Do you have a tool set that we're going to need to do this repair? And that is a set of precision screwdrivers designed specifically for electronics and jewellery. So let's do this. Okay, so I filmed that first past yesterday. Now it's time for the actual repair itself. But safety first. I'm gonna need to make sure I have a place to put my screws without losing them. And I'm gonna need to make sure that my um, body is well grounded, initially at least, so all the static electricity is out of me. Because there's of course some very sensitive components beyond here. As for something to put the screws in, these precision screwdrivers come with this little lid, which I could use for that. And for grounding, you can do one of two things. In a pinch, you're going to be touching a radiator or something like that. But if you have an anti static setup with a connection point for an anti static wristband and an anti static mat, or at least you have an anti static wristband that you can connect to a radiator or something like that, use it. Now, uh, as far as I know, I'm pretty much through this chart. The first step is to make sure the 3DS is turned off completely. Remove the game card. Remove the SC card. And then we can start with this assembly. Now this video is only going to go about the uh, old 3DS XL. For the new 3DS, 3DS XL, 2DS, um, and the old 3DS, I don't have any examples. But 
first that has an implication on the type of precision screwdriver you need. These are hybrid flathead and Phillips head kits. So we have our flatheads which we're not going to use and these are Phillips heads. They should say here that's the size for a crosshead, usually a Phillips head. Now before I'm going to start right away I just tell you that there are two types of screws. There's the Phillips head and the Yes head. Some Nintendo consoles use a Yes head instead of a Phillips head. In that case, using a Phillips head will break the screw. Conversely, using a Yes head on a Phillips screw could break it, but I haven't read any instances of them doing so. Be careful. If you have a console that has Phillips, you can use or we should use any Phillips head precision screwdriver for the correct size. Um, if you have a 3DS that has yes screws, then you need to either use an official I fix it. I'm not sponsored by that company. I have read that they are the only manufacturer who has screwdrivers with um, both Phillips and yes compatibility. Or you should use an official yes screwdriver, and those should have a J or a yes marker next to their size, which is an O, double A, or triple A. I've got a single A, which we use now to remove these screws on the back. Remove the stylus as well, and then on the side here you see these little tabs. You just pull those towards you, and then pull up on this. It needs a little bit of cleaning, so I'm going to do that one day. But now the point is replacing the circle pad or the analog Set that aside. Take out the battery. Set it aside. Now, this is a very weird set of steps. We've got these two little rubber thingies that we have to remove. So let me use a flathead precision screwdriver for that. Just to pry them up a little bit. And those go in our bucket. Okay, this one's a bit harder. Oh, there we go. It's out. Now let's go a little bit closer because we've got to remove these screws and I think those are going to be a double A. Let's see. So that is the double A. You do need to apply a bit of force when you do this. Forgive me, it took quite a bit of time to open it up off camera. I even had to drill out this screw position because it was broken. The head of a screw it can sometimes if the screw is weak or if you use the wrong driver get broken. So again, fair warning. Anyway, moving away from that position of strategy to this even bigger position of tragedy. This, and I'm going to have to ground myself again, is the sensor for the circle pad. I'm going to remove it now, but this time I'm going to be extremely careful to use the right screws um, because I'm going to need to put this back together completely. Now I just removed the analog circle pad thing and set it aside like this. Be extremely careful with the ribbon cables. I could have broken this one but instead it just broke off of its connection. Now here is the f***ing culprit. As you can see there's a little bit of the brittle plastic just stuck inside the console but I've just removed it and now I can remove the entire circle pad. Minus this little black ring which has to stay. Uh, let's see. Oh, here's my new circle pad.
um, onto which I should be able to just apply the ring. If you have a brittle plastic problem, the O-ring is probably broken as well. Yeah, but there we go. Oh, no, it doesn't work like that. Actually, what you're going to have to do is I'm just going to very carefully open that up so I can see how it works. So I'm just going to take this and put it in from the other side instead. So that kind of works like this. So there's a little notch in the circle pad. And to simply push it in using that notch, it, everything snaps back together, hopefully including the ribbon cables. Um, and now, all I really have to do is just put this back in place. Now that it seems to be in place, I'm going to secure it exactly in the correct place by putting on those screws. Now with the joystick back in place, or the circle pad, whatever, I'm just going to put back in place the bottom cover, slash back, and put in all the screws again very carefully. Next I'm going to put in the battery and test if all the controls work. The idea is that it's put back together just enough to see if everything works. So I had to readjust some things, put the uh, rings below this sensor back in place. I'm not going to take it apart again because in the meantime I accidentally pulled out the cable that went from the sensor to the motherboard. What you should do in that case, or if your sensor gets broken completely, uh, it didn't register anything. In that case, replace it. But these little connectors, at least in the 3DS Excel again, they have um, a mechanism which you open them up from one side, but then you put in the other cable um, from the other side. I just learned that the hard way, trying to put that darn circle pad back in place. Anyway, now all I really have to do is put the screws back in, put in the battery, put in a game card, put in an SD card, and I'll be ready to go on the move again tomorrow. So that is literally it. The 3DS is now ready for use again, at least for another decade or two, hopefully. Um, so yeah, so I'll go right back where it belongs. I'm going to see you again. Bye bye. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you do, please give a thumbs up and share this video with all your friends and perhaps consider subscribing to my channel. Thank you and I'll see you next time.